I'll recite your rights. This is me taking nine, going down to six. I don't really need to kill the Callista. I guess I could. I could go to eight and block this thing instead. Probably better. It's not like the Callista matters. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Ezreal. We're going to play this classic deck that we haven't played in a while. This is going to be a puff cap deck where we're going to want a lot of frostbite play in defense. Our main units are going to be, uh, you know, like the Teemo, obviously the Ezreal are champions, but then puff cap peddler, the puff cap peddler, very important because uh, every single spell that we cast will give three puff caps to our opponents. So we're going to want a lot of peddlers in play and then we need to play spells and play some defense we're going to be playing uh troll chant three sisters brittle steel you know like all these things like very good cheap interaction and a lot of frostbite that can handle large units you know we have two flash freezes and like uh three three sisters that can go get a bunch more flash freezes plus other frostbiting with with ice hill archer brittle steel that kind of stuff so yeah so we want to be able to you know just basically stay alive and while we're staying alive, we're giving our opponent a bunch of puff caps with the peddlers, hopefully doubling up the puff caps with Teemos, and then having the Hexcore Foundry, having both of us draw two cards each round instead of just one, and therefore they're going to be drawing those puff caps, and the puff caps will kill them. And while we're drawing multiple cards, hopefully we're drawing multiple, you know, like interaction spells that uh, keep us alive, and so on. So that's what the deck's all about. Ezreal is also a way to just completely speed up the clock. Basically, it, it's, you know, an elusive card that we will be targeting enemies quite a bit. It will be leveled up very quickly, and then it can do a lot of Nexus damage and just help us speed up the clock and help us win races. So let's go ahead and try it out. This is going to be Teemo Ezreal. We'll go play five games in ranked. And we got aggro to start with. Elise Darius. So we're going to need to have a good defensive hand right away. So I guess we just mulligan our... I kind of want to keep the Brittle Steel, and I kind of want to keep Troll Chant, and I want to mulligan the other two. But there's no units for Troll Chant or Brittle Steel, really, so maybe we need to just mulligan everything. Alright, Choo Choo, who has it, made the deck, says keep the Brittle, because yeah, I like how cheap those cards are. One mana is at a premium. Pretty unfortunate not finding a single unit. Unit? Hmm. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Alright, gonna save three life. Wow. This isn't looking... Isn't looking great right now. Teemo, it's a unit. <laughs> it's not the best blocker, considering all these things are fearsome. But I suppose it's a blocker. And we don't even have like mystic shots or anything to kill stuff. Yeah, this is pretty awkward. Taking 7 down to 11. Taking 6 down to 12. Wow. There are no units. And no removal spells either, right? Like, 
no units and no removal spells. We've just drawn only Frostbite. So there are, let's see, three, six, nine. There are nine Frostbite spells. We currently drew three, four, five, six, seven. We drew seven of the nine Frostbite spells. Let me change into something more comfortable. Okay, Mystic Shot's a start. There's a Peddler. My axe is ready. I figured we would need Have a mushroom. Have three. Uh, all the mana. Like we need like the spell mana for like these kind of things. Flash freeze. Oh wait, but then that thing's gonna go back to being larger again, isn't it? Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. I guess I'm dead. Well. No. We just have to. Yep. No. Yep. I'm dead. Yep. I'm dead. Because this Darius gains the four attack afterwards. Okay, so that's a exercise of how bad can the deck possibly look. It will not it will never be that bad again. I can tell you that. That was that was the absolute floor of what the deck can look like. It's only going up from here. I guess this isn't actually a good Ezreal matchup. Demacia, like, with Sharp Sight and stuff, this is not a good... And Ezreal's, like, really kind of our late-game win card anyway. Send them all back. I could keep that Elixir of Iron. Yeah, I don't like keeping Ezreal against Demacia. Trade one mana for one mana, especially with having the Foundry. We want to keep the board clear. I guess I'm playing this. Because they probably aren't playing anything this round. Unless they have another one drop. See, they use sharp sight. No, nope, no sharp sight. Demo. Okay, so we'll go with the sharp sight test. Gross. Young witch. So when are we playing young witch? Get this foundry in play. I think we're going to need more cards. Our cards are cheaper than theirs. So increasing the resources in the game, the overall resources in the game, is, is a helpful thing. And I said our cards are cheaper, and then we just draw a 3 mana and 4 mana card. Still isn't so good. Go ahead and troll chant and keep Teemo alive and then play Peddler. Yeah. 
Yeah. We are drawing the two cards each round. We'll probably find some more protection. But let's get Peddler in play. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Get some frostbite. Frostbite. If I play Chump Womp, we get the Mushroom Clouds, which is awesome for leveling up Teemo, but the problem is, is then I am not protecting against a fight spell if they have, like, single combat or anything like that. So I guess I just pass. Take the high ground, Take the high ground you say. Alright, less of a chance that they have fight spell plus barrier. At least fight spell would have Peddler and Screeching Dragon trade. Oh no, that is much, much worse than anything I could consider. Oh, that's a harvest right there. They grow up so fast. So this will level up Teemo. So I get to attack with Teemo. Have them either block with Young Witch or double these puff caps. Kill one thing, Peddler or Teemo. Smart. Unfortunately, they chose correctly. Yeah, I gotta have a lot of patience. Yeah, I guess I should have just passed. Okay. And not played the jump one. So I'm thinking about going Flash Freeze on the Screeching Dragon and Static Shock. Busting up the barrier. Maybe it's just this. No. Force them to play Twin Disciplines or Sharp Sight. So the real problem is going to be like the cataclysms every single round, right? And so I got to find something to get rid of this Jarvan. Because the cat cataclysms every single round are going to be a problem. Okay, no sharp sight, no twin disciplines. And this could maybe deal with the Jarvan. Wow, they had sharp sight. And they didn't use it. Two worlds, one balance. Yeah, we could still win this. It's not over. No, it's Peddler. Peddler will help out the earlier we get it in. Because Ezra will be just fine later, also. Never mind. Never mind. We were doing fine until another rally. These rallies are killed us. Like, that's the thing about, like, you know, control decks that are trying to frostbite and stuff. Rallies kill you. Yeah, that's. That one's game over. I, w beside, before this rally, I thought that I was winning this for sure, still. Like, even, like, right before this Golden Ages. Because, like, we're going to draw into, like, some more Frostbite cards. Yeah, like, I thought we were just fine, but... That is a problem. One more soldier of Demacia! Reporting in! I find them worthy. 
doors. There they go. Frostbite. Wow. No, no frostbite cards. I really want brittle steel. Yeah, they just drew another Jarman. Yeah, we were good until those those both those rallies really hurt. Both the rallies were really bad. Well. I mean, we can try. This has no chance of, of working, right? But it's better than conceding. If all those cards aren't, if none of them are a buff spell or a rally. So basically, no spells at all except for denies. Well, if that's a spell they can play at all. The game's over. I guess they want to win with Rally. Hmm. How are we not dead? How are we not dead? I don't know. I just don't know how we're not dead yet. <laughs> how is this game still going? Oh, that was the card in their hand? I guess. If we draw more burn spells and they draw more puff caps. We have to get real lucky with the puff cap drawn. Draw some puff caps. We need burn spells. No. Come on, Mystic Shot. Keep going. Ah. They did not draw enough puff caps. Alright. Finally, we're dead. Yeah, especially with, especially for how that game looked there without that second rally. Man, we had that for sure. Alright, GG's. Yeah, super close even there. Callista with Bilgewater. Does that mean it's like undying and vulnerable stuff? Maybe. We're not very good at like starting with with Teemo and Peddler. The two most important cards. Peddler! We're not very good at having those cards. Alright, so we have some units. We have a Peddler. Yeah, maybe it's the list. Bilgewater card the list with Callista.
I'm gonna kill that. Hmm. I guess it's Peddler. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. I do not own any hawks with, or any, t sorry, any ties with hawks on them. No, I do not actually. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, shake me down. And I, I even, we just even talked about the list. What am I doing playing the peddler? Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Got a surprise for him. So doing the three damage to this thing means that like whenever it does the two damage to itself, um, they'll, they'll get just the one powder monkey instead of three powder monkeys. Okay, or they'll get no powder monkeys. That's not too bad. Alright, so they're going big. Definitely considering playing the Ezreal. Ezreal gonna die. Do some vulnerable stuff, but... I don't know, I can Ezreal get a free Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot one of these things. I'd rather... No, I'm gonna save... Ar I'd rather Defensive Archer. No Ezreal? Well, if it's no Ezreal, then I'm doing this. What's the other target for this thing? Um, I guess. I don't know. I guess you. I don't know what the other target's supposed to be. All right, cool. Y'all both. Chat says dragon. Now the peddler. So now we're going to Archer the 6-6. Six, six. Fair enough. Pass. I think I want to hopefully play the Peddler after attacking. <clears throat> oh. Alright, so obviously we could we could have flash freeze, we gotta have peddler after attacking. We could play investigator right now. And then thermo the 4-2 afterwards. That's probably the best play. Status hide. An expert is at work. Okay. 
So now hopefully we can play a peddler and protect it. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. You can wait, Ezreal. You'll wait till after their attack token is following around. I guess I could just play you for free. Let's see, I'll still have eight mana. If I play Peddler, or sorry, if I play Ezreal, then I have eight mana, so I have enough for like Flash Freeze, Three Sisters Flash Freeze. I'm so good, I surprised myself. And I could also have a, I you'd never ask. a Brittle Steel as well. I don't miss. Can't stop me. Okay, <clears throat> I think this is kind of working. We got a lot of three sisters. I guess you can only have three, so that's that's why we got three sisters. That makes sense. Well, so much for brittle steel in that thing. I can brittle steal that. Double Fury of the North Lethal next round. No! Don't do that. me taking nine, going down to six. I don't really need to kill the Callista. I guess I could, I could go to eight and block this thing instead. Probably better. It's not like the Callista matters. Is your for yeah, we'll be able to stop atrocity with these things. All right, cool. I wasn't gonna just like play the Fear of the North, like, cause yeah, I was gonna just keep that up. Like, we're we're good. All right, one and two. That's how our deck wins. This does feel like a deck that could be pretty good against Viego and just like slower Viego decks, you know, like Viego, Hydrovine, how like those decks just really, ooh, Driven Riven. How Viego decks just really try to, you know, kind of control the board and, you know, get a bunch of things in play and stuff. I feel like this, like with all the elusive, like they don't play like lots of removal, right? It's like all the elusives and stuff could be pretty nice. Okay, so Draven Riven, this is a type of deck that just, like, kind of goes all in on, like, one thing. For the most part. So I like the Flash Freeze, and honestly, I kind of like the Hexcore Foundry for this. Because they're more of a combo deck than, like, a go-wide aggro deck, I think. So I kind of want the Hexcore Foundry so I can get more Flash Freezes. I'll think I'll... I guess I'll send it back, though. We, we, we do need our units, right? Like, we need... We need Peddler, Teemo. All right, Peddler. What do you think of Get Excited in this type of deck? Get Excited is the type of card that it kind of depends on the metagame, right? Like if it if dealing three damage is very important for killing champions and stuff, then you know play it. If it's not too important, then you know, you don't need it. I don't think that you need I wouldn't play it just because it's like a Nexus damage source to finish out games. I think you want a better reason to play it than that. I have three. I have three. So I hope they don't have spinning axe. Cool. Looks like they don't have spinning axe. 
I like all the plays. Double Peddler or the Foundry. Um, Ezreal's probably my least favorite of the plays. I think we either get Peddler or Foundry in play. Alright, Double Peddler and chill. I can go along with that. A card like Troll Chant would be a card that would be pretty valuable now. So they can use the Spinning Axe and buff one of these bots up to be a 3-3, then the other one would be a 2-3. I can Brittle Seal the 3-3. Alright, Chuchi says I'm in there, and so I'm in there too. Awesome. Take the 6 damage, because I like doing that because it puts puts pressure on them. If they do use the Spinning Axe, they have to like discard like a real card and not just like discard Ignitions. Yeah, those ignitions are going to be so valuable to them. Well, we're going to take some damage here, unfortunately. Can you improve perfection? Fire nothing moves. Sorry. <laughs> I guess... Uh, I was saying, uh, Scorch... I was supposed to try to play around Scorched Earth. Okay, yeah, I don't. I don't think this deck plays Scorched Earth. I, they're not. This is not a Scorched Earth deck. I don't think with Draven and Riven. This isn't Draven Ezreal. Yeah, I'm planning on shooting the three one. I shot the three one. coming right up. But I did not shoot no. Boom, boom, boom. I wonder if I should be killing bots. I guess maybe bots more valuable than Draven. You say kill a bot? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Plus, I'm, I'm also worried about, like, just the Nexus damage from these Ignitions. Alright, good. I need more cards. These hands know metal and magic. Alright, playing Ezreal. We got Ezreal Mystic Shot now. Like this mystic shot. This mystic shot would level up Teemo. See the world from behind a basilisk. Firing. Can you improve perfection? Reporting in. Armed and ready. All right, cool. Double those up. Thirty-six puff caps. That can be quite valuable. So I could see going after the ballistic bot. I know, maybe just keeping them from going wide and you know, having frostbite for the other stuff. All right, yep, this is looking good. That was, that was a really good round for us. I wonder what they have in their hand. They weren't playing anything. Maybe it's like rummages and stuff. We didn't draw well. Still only have the one flash freeze. This is where we want, you know, flash freezes and stuff. Heart and blade, both broken. No, that's not a good card either. <laughs> well, I got one flash freeze in me. For overwhelm, not two.
Might as well make them a little bit more scared. I don't, I mean, I, I could play the investigator and hope they draw five puff caps, but, I mean, come on, that's not gonna happen. Let's do this. Yeah, it's all about just not taking enough nexus damage, right? Yeah, our, we don't need, everything, all of our units are completely, like, they can die, right? Because the Hexcore Foundry will finish it out. So everything can die. It's about overwhelm. Our the mushroom help? Okay. No that card's more valuable. Can you spoil the surprise? Right. Yeah, I guess we'd rather keep... Yeah, because we're going to keep one peddler alive here, so keep a peddler and an Ezreal. At least, attempt. Alright, pass priority. It's all good if stuff dies. It's not good if my Nexus dies. So, gotta wait for Overwhelm. Take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Okay. So now I could probably use the... With them only having four mana. Let's see. I guess... No, maybe I have to hold it. Because if it's Might... If they have Might on the Ballistic Bond, that would be seven... I guess I I gotta hold it. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up? I know, man. You're just trying to help. Give him some more puff caps. Time has stopped. I hope they don't have a rally. But yeah, they're gonna have Nexus damage stuff. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Yep, because they are playing their own burn. So they got Kid excited, they got Mystic Shot. Ezreal's at four out of six. All right, we're gonna play this, make it five out of six. If we do draw an Ezreal. You know, that'll help. Alright, that should hopefully do it. 43 puff caps, we gotta draw two. Draw two? Yeah! Drew five. Let's go! Yeah, I mean, I just didn't need that thermogenic beam, right? Like, the thermogenic beam wasn't gonna be a card that mattered, so just. Might as well get a count up for Ezreal. Alright, auction Lee Sin. Frostbite could be decent against Lee Sin, and really against auction as well. But I don't think I keep it in my opener. I could see keeping Ezreal in this matchup. Alright, we'll just send it back. We'll keep the archer. We each hold a world within. Status high. My expert is at work. Timo. Entering crime scene. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Another day in the field. All right, come on, peddler, Ezreal. Slippery. Kick suspects. Wow. Just taking it. Oh, no puff caps. Yeah, so they're gonna get the draglings. Draglings are not gonna be easy to defeat. I'm considering entombing and just keeping them from getting one of the draglings. That's probably pretty silly. 
I guess I just pass. Yeah, I guess I just pass. Yeah, I want to Static Shock Draglings, but then, like, their deck, remember, is just all pump spells, so, like, they're gonna use buff spells in response to the Static Shock. But it's just my best use of the Static Shock. It's just a better use than using them on the Eye of the Dragons. Cool. Alright. So two Twin Disciplines being worth, you know, Eight life swing, four life on me. They gain four. Mm. Just pass. Breathe in, breathe out. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I kind of wish I would have kept my Ezreal to begin with. Ezreal would have made things a little easier. So they haven't played two spells, have they? Nope, they have not. The reason why I'd want to hit the Lee Sin is to turn the Lee Sin into three health for Brittle Steel. And we got like everything at three health. And plus, that's why I figured this, if they level up Lee Sin, which is really likely, then it goes to four anyway. They're doing this, of course, to get more draglings. What is gained when you return malevolence? Peddler. Peddler gonna help. Our enemies cannot. Let me play Peddler first. Hey, Lola. Center your spirit. Just have one mana. I think I may just entomb Lee Sin instead of Frostbite. Obviously, we're doing this. I have no idea why the other Draglings not attacking. Yeah, because like this is like a time where I could actually entomb. And I still have the mana for Peddler. Keep my flash freeze. <laughs> GG's. I could see this being a pretty good deck against Lee Sin. All this frostbite stuff. And there you have it. There's our Teemo Ezreal deck, three and two. Good record. And we even had, remember our first game was just the unluckiest you could possibly beat. We just drew every single frostbite spell, no units, no removal against hyper aggro, which isn't always like necessarily that bad of a matchup because we can play some good defense, but you know, you need some units. Um, so yeah, so I think, I think this could be a pretty well positioned deck against like Lee Sin and in auction and how people are playing just a whole bunch of buff stuff. Now you do have like uh Sivir and Ruin Runner that have the spell shield, but you can, you know, you can get rid of like a spell shield fairly easily with like a troll chant, um, you know, or something like that. Even like static shocks and thermogenic beams for zero, like at the end of rounds can get rid of some spell shields and then you draw your extra cards. And elusives are pretty powerful. Not many people are playing very much removal, and people don't really have elusive blockers. So Ezreal, Teemo, getting that damage in, they are um, you know, very good at that. I was impressed with the Veteran Investigator. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, but just being a body out there and getting you that extra card, I was pretty impressed with Veteran Investigator. Three Sisters, like three Three Sisters felt pretty heavy a lot, but we, we were just drawing so many Three Sisters all the time. And that's why that kind of felt kind of heavy. Um, Static Shock also was pretty good, pretty decent. It was like one that I kind of wish I had another uh, Static Shock, but overall everything went very well. So cool. Good little record here with uh, Timo Ezreal. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments if you've been playing this kind of deck. Let me know. Or just what do you think about this deck in this, this metagame right now? Because I do think this could be a pretty good... Uh, option and it's always fun playing Teemo and Puff Caps. Puff Caps are always a lot of fun. 
So enjoy the deck. Leave those comments. Let me know how you like it and how it's going for you. But thank you so much for watching. Like always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.